I have now been using nootropics for over 10 years and they have been instrumental as far as my career development and my personal growth. And if you are new to nootropics, you may want to take nootropics for the purpose of increasing your income, but you may have the concerns that there can be some really bad side effects that come with it. So that is what we're going to discuss in this video because it's all about reaping the most rewards while eliminating or mitigating any potential side effects. I review nootropics on this channel, so consider subscribing if you get value from this video. There's a few different ways you can get started with nootropics. You can take the um, alternative of using nootropic blends, and what nootropic blends are are products which have already formulated like a good nootropic complex for you. If you're really new to nootropics and you're skeptical and you want to know, okay, do these things actually work? Then I think that's a pretty good way about it. You can try a popular nootropic blend for a month, see if you like the results, and if you do like the results, then you can go out and pretty much deconstruct the ingredients, find out what works, and optimize your nootropic stack. And you know that you've uh, kind of optimize your nootropic stack when you no longer need like caffeine or really bad stimulants to stay in state and you feel just as sharp at the end of the day as the beginning of the day because that's the number one thing that nootropics have done for me is you'll feel like you're going about your day in a very efficient and intentional manner. These two bottles are some of the most popular nootropic blends out there. So uh, the first is called Qualia Mine. This has um, over 20 different nootropics stacked into one product, although uh, do note it is seven capsules per serving. And then the other really popular product is called Alpha Brain, which is maybe a little bit more appropriate if you are on somewhat of a budget. It doesn't have as many nootropics, but people still do take it for the month and notice great benefits from it. For those of you that are coffee drinkers, you can consider uh, nootropic based coffees. This is a really popular one, which I like a lot called Fresh Cap. They have uh, their mushroom coffee. They also have a focus coffee. Uh, this product specifically does contain three very popular nootropics, lion's mane, chaga, and ashwagandha. It's instant, so you simply uh, mix it with some boiling water and you're good to go. And on top of that, it does taste really, really good. Let's go ahead and talk about some nootropics that have definitely worked with me. And I'll as well let you know like particular circumstances when you may want to consider avoiding them. And I mean like I'm 99% sure that they've worked for me. I sell real estate. I'm in a 100% commission based job. I'm paid solely based on results. And when that happens, you are always paying attention to like what's working, what's not working. And you kind of get in this, uh, you can say state of being hypersensitive to nootropic. The first being rhodiola rosea. And this is the particular product which I like most. It's the rhodiola rosea minimum 3% salidricide. You can get it from Nootropics Depot. You know this product is good because it's pretty much in um, every nootropic blend out there. And if it's not in a nootropic blend, then I would stay away from that nootropic blend because this feels like a nap in a pill, which is especially useful for those of you that work long hours like myself. The way that I take rhodiola rosea is once in the early afternoon and then once again in the later afternoon because um, around one o'clock, of course, you've accumulated some fatigue, maybe something bad has happened in the morning and you just want to forget it and have a nice reset because the beginning of the day, you're very intentional, you have good focus, you're in a great mood, and this allows you to experience that feeling throughout the whole course of the day. So Rodeo Rosea, specifically for increasing your income, I would rate it 10 out of 10. But again, if you're like a student or somebody that has problems with maybe you want more energy or a little bit more focus throughout the day, then this is something definitely worth considering. Rodeo Rosea can be a very good tool in the sense like you can use it if you need it. If you don't need it, then you don't need to take it because it's not something which has cumulative benefits. You don't need to be taking it day by day for you to start seeing the results. It's you take it and you pretty much feel in that state. And at the same time, there is a really nice benefit. It does suppress your appetite to some extent, which is one reason why you may see rhodiola rosea in like weight loss pills, surprisingly. This is the next nootropic for increasing your income. I would rate this one eight out of 10. It's L-tyrosine. Um, L-tyrosine is an amino acid that you can find in abundance in egg whites as well as chicken breast. But when you have it just by itself in free form and it's not competing with um, other calories or other amino acids while it's digesting in your system, then you get the cognitive benefit. And what that feels like is um, enhanced energy. You get more focus. There's some really neat research showing the effect of L-tyrosine on resilience, specifically when people are stressed out. And not only like mental stress, but they also took people that were in a much colder environment than they're accustomed to. And with the help of L-tyrosine, they actually performed as well as they would have been if they were in normal temperatures. I do use L-tyrosine later in the day, specifically when like 
I want a bit of alertness, but I don't want to be stimulated. So I'll take uh, 750 milligrams around six o'clock PM, but I also really like it first thing in the morning when I'm working out. Because one of the amazing things about l tyrosine is when you combine it with caffeine, it seems to have like this synergistic effect where you feel like the caffeine is working a lot more effectively. And that's probably why you'll find l tyrosine in pretty much every popular pre-workout blend out there. Pre-workouts are caffeinated beverages that people take 30 minutes before working out, whether it's lifting weights or cardio, L-tyrosine is great. Not only will you physically feel better, but mentally you really feel on the ball for about two hours. Our very next nootropic is called Alpha GPC. I would only rate Alpha GPC six out of 10 for the purpose of making money, but it's instrumental as far as your nootropic stack because choline is what's found in alpha GPC and choline is a nutrient that's um, pretty much exclusively found in egg yolks. It's very difficult to find in your diet. And what so is it's like, it gives you, you can say mental energy. When you take choline specifically through supplementation, you just feel like you're recharging your batteries. And it is such that when you are taking nootropics, and especially if you're a hard worker, you really need to be mindful of replenishing your choline stores. So this unlike the other nootropics, is not something that you'll feel straight away, but it does have a cumulative effect. So t trust that if you take it two to three times per day, after about a week, uh, you'll start finding that you'll feel uh, definitely your word recall, specifically in conversations, your verbal fluency will be good. Like I have found that once I stop taking Alpha GPC, for whatever reason, my memory is not as good as it was while on Alpha GPC, which is good in the sense like this is a very versatile nootropic, whether it's looking to make more money or maybe even if you're just on vacation, you pretty much feel better all around while you're taking Alpha GPC as a choline source. So that's one reason I like it a lot. I do not take much time off Alpha GPC. I'm pretty much taking it uh, almost every single day of the year. And I've not really noticed it has any sort of like tolerance you can build and not much of a need to cycle off of it. And then we have the magical nootropic called Nupept. I absolutely love this stuff. I can go back to look at some of my best weeks and best months in terms of sales and dollars made and I could relate it to uh, taking high amounts of Nupep that I would not recommend you do. I would rate Nupep 9 out of 10. The only reason it's not 10 out of 10 is because with Nupep, unfortunately, you need to cycle off of it fairly frequently. You can build a tolerance to it. So the way I'm typically taking it is six weeks on followed by two weeks off. You can also do a rotation like weekdays on, weekdays off. Even doses like five milligrams or 10 milligrams are fairly common. And what you can expect from taking Nupept is after ingestion for about three to four hours, you feel very motivated. You feel very focused on your tasks. I have found that when I take Nupept, I get horribly imbalanced. Like I have no desire to um, have like my normal hobbies, whether it's watching sports or interacting with friends. I just want to focus on the money making activities. The way that I'm typically taking it is three times per day. Once in the early morning prior to working out when I'm taking my L-tyrosine and my caffeinated pre-workout. Once again in the early afternoon and the late afternoon at those same times when I'm taking Rhodiola Rosea. And you will find that with Nupept, it can give you headaches. So if that is the case for you, then I would recommend that you take it with Alpha GPC. If you don't take it with a choline source like Alpha GPC or a CDP choline or choline by tartrate, then you may unfortunately get headaches. So I would highly advise that you take those two together. Nupept was not one of the first nootropics that I tried, but what so is when I started taking nootropics and I liked the effects, then I would research nootropics all the time and I trust that you really could not ignore the hype around Nupept. Everyone was having great results with it. And to this day, like I first started taking it back seven years ago, I still am absolutely amazed by Nupept. And it's one nootropic that I feel is very underrated, specifically for people who don't mind being a little bit imbalanced, really getting work done. And it is one of the most important nootropics that I talked about in this stack that doubled my income. I talked about that in this video here where I listed the nootropics when I took them and that year I more than doubled my income. So be sure to check that video out. Click subscribe if you got value from this video. Be sure to drop a comment. What's your favorite nootropic specifically for increasing your income? Thank you for your interest in nootropics and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.